On a yearly basis, Nigerian tertiary institutions churn out graduates who are processed for the compulsory one-year national youth service, after which they are released onto the labor market. A 2019 survey by the National Bureau of Statistics puts the unemployment rate at 23.1% and underemployment at 16.6%. While some of these graduates wait for opportunities to open for them in the market, others go out of their way to locate opportunities elsewhere. One of such places is the tech ecosystem. A lot of young people coming out of school tend to is one of the best skills that you can pick up because you work conveniently and, you know, get a very good job, good pay early on. During his visit to Nigeria in 2017, Google CEO Sundar Pichai made a commitment to empower 10 million Africans with relevant digital skills to thrive in the burgeoning tech ecosystem. So I'm pretty excited we are committing to train 10 million people over the next wow. five years. Uh, a presidential aide says the tech giant is back with a plan to bring such favors to thousands of those willing to take advantage in collaboration with a developer training institute in Nigeria. In the visit to the VP by Doran, um, who heads um, Google government engagement for emerging economies, um, was actually an opportunity for them to brief um, the vice president on the progress they've made so far, um, which it's that they've trained about 3 million Nigerians in basic digital skills over the last few years. Um, they have about $3 million which they're investing in technology startups um, in the country. Given the large number of developers that were let go by a developer training institute not long ago, this situation has been described by others as a blessing in disguise. Two years ago first, if you were looking for a developer in um, Lagos, if you put out a job ad, even offering 200k for a junior developer, you'll get maybe one CV, you know, or two, or you'll get CVs from people that have no experience and are just looking for where to <laughs> learn. It's now easier for the startups, for the small business, you know, somebody in his house that wants to start an app because the, there's competition, so there's competition amongst the developers. So you will see people that will rush towards as long as you are willing to pay something. Mm -hmm. This initiative will be in addition to efforts already made by the federal government. They, however, say more is in the offing. With the 2020 budget, the federal government has planned to ramp up. Our goal is not to reduce, but to either maintain our numbers or increase. Nigerian youths have over the time proven that what they lack and not ideas, but opportunities. Now with these opportunities in the offing, what is expected is that they grab them with both hands and add value on what already exists and create more wealth and also change the methods in which we do things to a smarter and a technology-driven way. Victor Mathias reporting for Channel Television News.